So guys, I went and did it. I built a dedicated Linux PC. And I regret every moment of it. So here we are. Unwelcome to Linux Mint. So, the first problem. This hard drive used to be in my Windows PC. And it's got all my pictures and my music and whatnot on it. I put that into this computer. I go into the disk's utility to make sure that it's automatically mounted at boot. Which it is, as you can see here. So you might be thinking, well, that's okay, that worked. But did it? Let's just take a look at what we get. So, yes, I can view all the files. And I can browse this as easily as when it was in Windows. But if I try to write any files to this disk, even if I open it as root, which I've got to put my password in for, it doesn't let me do it. See? Create new documents grayed out. Create new folders grayed out. It says that I'm not the owner. So I cannot change any of the permissions. It says only root has full access to this hard drive. And I opened it as root. And I still couldn't write files onto it. And don't think that I haven't tried googling these problems. Because I have. I've spent over three hours just trying to get the hard drive to work. I finally came across this thing, which should fix the problem. I had a look and my hard drive is dev stb1. That's the hard drive that I don't have full access to. So this command should fix it. Oh yeah. My password and errors. Just like everything else I do in the terminal. Alright then, I'll run chick dusk. Yeah, that's really good, isn't it? So this is my microphone. It's a bit beat up, but it still works. And it works fine in Windows. And it used to work fine in Linux. But now, even though I'm bellowing everything into this microphone, the input level is not registering anything. It's completely mute. So let's try something that can record audio, which is my screen um, open broadcaster studio. I'll select the microphone here which is already selected and we should be seeing these meters move when there's sound going into the microphone but as you can see nothing well let's try to run audacity shall we i've got the latest version here as an app image and i've made sure that it's executable oh, if i clicked in the right tab let's try to run that Hello. <clears throat> now, you might think this is about to load, but this is as far as it gets. It's not going to get any further than this. So let's try to load up the version that I reinstalled. Again, this is something that ran absolutely fine on a previous version of Linux, but now it doesn't work. Yep. And this is all we get. Alright, so I just killed it. Let's try to load it up again. Again, it ain't having it. And I certainly... I ain't having it. Where's my ammo? So yeah, we got a drive I can't use. A microphone I can't use. Even though it used to work on Linux. And apps that won't open. Call me crazy. But this is not my idea of a functional operating system. Linus, you gave everybody the possibility to create a beautiful OS that doesn't work. One thing that did work, though, surprisingly enough, is the network card I bought. Wi-Fi access works just fine. Bluetooth works absolutely beautifully. I was able to listen to a whole song through these Bluetooth headphones without the sound cutting in and out. And yeah, like I said, it's not like I haven't tried Googling these problems, but as usual, they show no results that work along with a whole bunch of irrelevant results. And yes, I found many solutions that don't work. Like for instance, it says I need libfuse2 to run the app image of Audacity. So I do that, and it says it's already there, and it's already the latest version. But does that even mean we can run Audacity now? Of course not. I thought I had it all worked out this time. I thought I'd use Linux, 
for all the computery things and use Windows just for gaming. And it couldn't even let me have that. I would like to use Linux for all the computery things if it wasn't for those three problems. Okay, just three problems. I would actually use Linux as my daily driver and use this computer just for gaming. Okay, so here I am using Audacity on Windows 10. And as you can see, it's loaded up. I've plugged the microphone in and I can see it right here. And it's selected. And if I hit record, yes, it's actually picking up from the microphone, as it should do. So, I don't even need to bellow into this microphone. It just works. Here we are in the media drive, and I've got full read and write access. So, I can view the files, I can add new folders, um, that is, if I can find it, there it is, new folder. And as you can see, it just works. And I even managed to get the Bluetooth working thanks to a snappy driver installer. Was it that snappy driver installer prime, I think? No, snappy driver origin. Well, anyway, that's it for now, so, um, yeah. <clears throat> Gonna get back to the Tesla coils in my next video, so, until next time, Goodbye. And hopefully if we can fix all those problems, that next video will be edited on Linux.